this is the weekly horoscope for Gemini for the week of March 2023. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. Help me grow this channel, please. So on March 2nd at 5.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury moves into Pisces. Also, I talk about this on my weekly horoscope, so I'm going to um, link it so you can click on the box um, for the weekly horoscopes. So for some of you, you can be more about your freedom at this time. Mercury and Pisces is a death those of you in your 50s you can be um, cutting back your hours or even taking a sabbatical from your main job to focus on you and your freedom and looking for something easy to do or taking a break from your work environment to go and do you you can be reevaluating your career direction for others of you you can feel like quitting your job going back to school to get a better paying job at this time you can be bored with routine you can be talking a lot about future future but at the same time not doing anything about it so be careful here that's mercury and pisces for you you may receive good news from superiors possibly in the form of a promotion it is a good time for public speaking those of you in media and social media with this energy as well um you can be very attractive at this time. You can be the jack of all trades. You benefit through the men in your life, through father, through husband. And father could be presenting job opportunities to you or wants you to go into business with him and wants you to partner up with him. This could also be a popular energy time for some of you. Then on the 7th at 7.40 a.m., the full moon enters Virgo. The focus on mother and on the women in your life. This and also is forming a T-square with the first fourth and tenth house so it's not the best time to make impulsive decisions mars is not well aspected so this could be tantras and tiaras you could be throwing at this time with this energy also you got that fixed square happening on the full moon with the third sixth and ninth and twelfth house so you could be experiencing a lot of changes at this time for some of you the full moon in virgo you could feel this three days before three days after so you could be like losing your stuff on this on these days so i would be careful with your phones at this time you can be having meltdowns not the best time to make life choices or start kicking people out of your life because you're not getting along with them you can be butting heads with mother at this time and not getting along with her with this energy try to be very adaptable at this time we're dealing with big squares i feel like you really need to be careful with your words because your words have consequences to your actions so this could be whoever has to leave your life let them leave your life so be cautious when you're speaking to others um, when you're angry also there's a lot of misunderstandings that can be happening here so this is not the best times um, for communications you're not saying exactly what's on your mind with this energy as well so make sure you speak very clearly but in a nice way okay um, and be honest about your communications at this time then on the seventh Saturn moves into Pisces at 8 35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the 10th house some of you have your your Saturn return at this time, so you could check that out on Astro Thief. What are your biggest hurdles here for the next two and a half years? You're going to need to watch your spending, okay? Time for career with this energy. Um, it's going to be a beautiful time when Saturn's direct for business to be picking up, but then when Saturn goes retrograde, not the easiest time, and you're going to experience that more so next year because Saturn is going to be visiting the 10th house. Just give you a little taste of what's to come, and then it's going to go back into your 9th house. So you're spending, watch your spending because you can be very careless with your spending because also you got, you know, when you look at the natal chart, you got to consider who else is in there. North node is in your 11th house at this time, which telling me that also you're more about the friendships at this time or you're putting somebody on a pedestal and spending money on them with this energy so your money can be going towards a relationship your money can also be going towards your friendships at this time in buying your friends with this energy for some of you especially those of you in your 20s and your teens so i would be careful with this energy here when it comes to spending okay because you're not use investing your money wisely and you're spending it carelessly at this time you're taking wrong steps and having unexpected expenditures coming up um when you spend your money lavish, lavishly, so be careful where you invest your money into. This could be a great time for career picking up, business picking up, a popular energy time for those of you in media and social media. When Saturn goes retrograde in your 10th house, you're gonna have your problems with business, so you may wanna squirrel away your money when it comes to your business and save for a rainy day, which is gonna be till October. The focus can also be on mother, and there could be a better relationship with mother, or mother is more loving and affectionate towards you 
you and you're receiving a lot of attention towards the women in your life or mother or mother-in-law or stepmother. For others of you, this is starting a business. You have a lot of learning lessons and problems coming up over the two ha half years with... Um, the 10th house energy of Saturn. I feel once you leave, once it leaves your 10th house, you'll do better with this energy and you'll be wiser in the tech, in the steps that you take and you'll have a better understanding with it. So patience for now is going to be needed when it comes to your business because you have like a lot of learning curves that you have to learn during this time period. You may get caught up with online scams and stuff like that with this energy that can get you in trouble. I feel like you have a lot of influence over other people. So this is a great time for those of you in media and social media you need um you like need and accept responsibility and you're and you have a far-sighted organizational and managerial ability strong career ambitions allow you to achieve status especially after the age of 29 you must use ambition and success as means to serve the larger social order and use extreme caution concerning your principles or you're likely to incur heavy karmic debt then on the 16th at 6 34 p.m eastern standard time venus enters taurus you can have an emotional affair venus is not well aspected in taurus and whenever venus is not well aspected in taurus it normally indicates an affair and especially if you are dating somebody that is a taurus with the sun in taurus you may want to check out their where their venus is because if they have venus in their natal taurus and it's not well aspected then they love the hookups and they're just like they they just like sleeping with people okay they are hard to tame okay so you're not you could be crushing on somebody but you're not making your intentions known or you're not very open about your feelings either with other people so you tend to shy away from having people like figure you out or confront those feelings you don't like people who are weak-minded or people who are in crisis or can't take care of themselves so you do have lessons with your giving energy so be careful with you, those you help or putting certain relationships on a pedestal north node in the 11th house you love and at times need quiet and solitude your social your social shyness can lead to loneliness or romantic frustrations you're sensitive and easily hurt and seldom express your feelings um, rarely you're kind sympathetic and compassionate to those who suffer and you feel compelled to serve your personal social and romantic relationships are often kept secret uh, Venus at this time is afflicted you may love someone who is not free and who is already taken or who it or suffer romantic setbacks or divorce your behavior is motivated by your unconscious mind which is often deeply inspired artistically you're extremely protective devoted to ideals and not ambitious in the in a worldly sense then on the 19th at 12 24 a.m eastern standard time mercury enters aries in your 11th house of friendships networks and goals this is a beautiful time for growth with career you have that beautiful big giant stellum in your 11th house so this is really you know a lot of you are like about your social life a lot of you are about your um about growth at this time with this energy or business picking up this can also be a great time where you are more about your social life you can be joining a group or organization at this time you're more active in your community or like you're more active and a participant in other people's lives you can be taking on other people's responsibilities at this time with this energy and be more of a participant in other people's lives you can be turning family turning friends into family at this time you can be reconnecting with people from your past or or people that previously worked with I feel this is a very positive energy time for you because your routine is changing around there's more to do and you're more out and about with this energy you can be more focused on your friends and their responsibilities as well avoiding your personal responsibilities with this energy I feel this is a beautiful time for working on your goals and aspirations because you're taking on you're taking your ideas out of your head and putting them into your reality then on the 20th the Sun and Enters Aries taking on the um, overtones of Aquarius at 524 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you simply just want to go off and do your own thing with this energy. So you can be seen as a rebel at work or you're not getting along with those in authority. You may make have many clear-cut objectives and usually achieve them and you whatever you set out to do you end up doing it I feel this is a great time to gain recognition through mental achievements inventions your very strong organizing abilities that you're usually a leader in any group you're involved in I 
either organizations, religious, act, any kind of group you talk, you normally take charge or you're more responsible for at this time and you're delving into those re um, responsibilities, again, with other family members or with groups or organizations, religious sect, you're just delving into it, you're more into it. Or this could even be with school and you could be like joining PTA and more active in your children's um, like after school um, projects or even volunteering your time at school during this time period. I feel like you can be more about your social life as well and this is growth with career, money, raise, promotion. So this is a beautiful time period. Watch your spending during this time on the 21st. Again, more 11th house energy. So the focus on growth, a busy energy time for you. Business can be picking up at 1.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 21st. The new moon in Aries in your 11th house of friendships, networks, and goals. Not the best time to make impulsive decisions this month. Also, this is a positive time for change. You have two kite energies happening on the new moon in Vulcan in the third house. So this is starting something new, a new creative project or throwing yourself into a new business endeavor or some kind of work project and you're throwing yourself into work. Deepening of friendships and with greater commitment is common. Friends confide in you emotionally and you can have dumb, dumb luck kick in or just good timing and be at the right place at the right time. You have a lot of influence over other people. A great time for job interviews. You can be the doll baby at work. You have a kite energy with Volcan. This is a time where you're getting more responsibilities um, at work or more responsibilities with your business. So you could be throwing yourself into your work. You can be reevaluating your career direction at this time. Um, and, and if you do have a side hustle, you could be reevaluating that and wondering if you should quit your job for your side hustle. So it could be that great. But mind you, when Saturn goes retrograde, you know, maybe it's going to be like when Saturn goes retrograde during the summertime, you know, go back to work or look for a job. But when Saturn is um, direct, you know, like this is a time to like focus on your side hustle. Okay. So beautiful time for that. This could be more hours at work or a new job happening, promotion happening, beautiful time for career growth. Lots going on with career growth, a great time for job interviews. Um, internships can happen during this time period. So this is a beautiful time for moving forward, a beautiful time for destiny happening, doors opening up for you. Then on the 23rd at 8 23 AM Eastern standard time, Pluto enters Aquarius in your ninth house. So Pluto is direct right now. Um, and then it's just going to give you a little taste, but for the next 20 years, it's going to be in your ninth house. So this is, has to deal with communications. This could be dealing with um, traveling. Those of you who live in different countries, there could be a move eventually to another country where you may stay or make your permanent home. So those of you who are under the age of 40, this could be a time period where you like leave your country to go to a different country. You know, God forbid, you know, something bad happens to your country that makes you leave your country kind of situation so we can see that coming up um, for some people not all of you it just depends what's going on in your natal chart if you want a natal chart reading then check out my description box below okay okay so <laughs> um, this is finding new ways to communicate with other people so there could be some new apps coming out at this time or just finding different ways to communicate with people during this time period you love the latest and greatest in technology you can be incorporating the latest greatest in technology into your business you could be very original in your way of thinking you're also very intuitive as well beautiful energy time for you to work smarter not harder i feel like you're non-conforming to the rules you probably question everything that happens so if you don't like certain rules that are happening at this time you'll be the one to definitely question it so others could see that you're a rebel at this time or try to change the rules around you this is more about your social life at this time so those of you in school with pluto direct right now um this you know it might be a difficult time for you with school because you can be more about your social life and kind of like off traveling doing your own thing during this time period as well so when pluto is in retrograde it may be a better time for you in the spring in this in the spring summer and fall and like towards the winter like october for you to like really buckle down and study and you may have an easier time doing this okay you could for others of you pluto deals with the law at this time so i would be really careful with the popo 
law judges at this time because for some of you you could be in court for the next 20 years with this energy for some of you be careful when traveling okay and where you travel at this time because you could be in jail for the next 20 years god forbid and you know because of your jail time it could change rules about like we could see like certain things that happen with the jail or prison that changes the rules you know like arresting people from different countries and stuff like that you know there there so it could like activate some kind of like lawmakers or changing of the laws and rules in regards pertaining to putting people in jail you know so stuff like that all right um some of you could be more of a like protesters with this energy here so i would be careful with that at this time you have little tolerance for hypocrisy and social injustice it may even become revolutionary if you feel existing institutions are unworthy of your respect you will do something about it your will is guided by moral standards you may have to aspire to impossible dreams you're restless eager adventurous and have insatiable need for learning i feel like that's going to be more so with pluto and retrograde i don't know depends probably pluto and retrograde more than likely yes you're willing to try anything once but um you can be overly forceful and offer mental strain you may marry a foreigner or change your culture or religion at this time as well then on the 25th at 7 45 a.m eastern standard time mars enters cancer in your second house of money so i would be careful with this because your emotional self is dictating your money situation you're more about your financial security and your emotional security at this time so when your money ain't right you ain't right okay so your money situation is dictating what you do at this time um, mars and cancer is dictating your emotions at this time so you can be quite moody during this time period um this could be whoever has to leave your life let them leave your life you tend this tends to create a chaotic social environment acquaintances should not be taken into trust now be careful to guard against financial losses or carelessness close inspection of financial affairs may be underway by authorities ninth house mm not the best time for big purchases because you can have buyer's remorse later or careful with your giving energy and giving your money away to other people because you're going to um because you're going to regret your decision because of unexpected expenditures that can come up at the end of the month okay the first card I come up with is the Empress card. So I feel like for some of you here, the focus can be on mother this month and mother's energy, like I was saying. So now we're correlating with the reading. Um, the Five of Wands, this could be on the job training or you two may not be getting along at this time or she could be a little bit more needy of your attention and you may not like that. For others of you, this could be a sibling in your life and this female sibling or mother, mother side of the family you know this person could be really wanting your attention the six of cups you tend to enjoy the simple things in life at this time you can be reconnecting with people from your past the knight of swords this can be a busy week for you with this energy as well the three of wands teamwork makes the dream work with this energy the hangman card indecisions are coming up with this energy you can be reevaluating your relationships especially with certain family members in your life like mother you could be reevaluating those relationships um, during this time period the hermit card don't rest on um, your laurels continue working hard for what you want because this is like kind of like playing king of the hill and everybody wants what you have at this time so this is a beautiful time for career growth you know you may not be making a lot of friends during this time period because everybody is watching you the chariot card um, certain things may no longer apply in your life at this time with this energy so certain um, doors that were once upon a time closed to you can be open during this time period for others of you this could be changing your appearance at this time with this energy or focusing more on your appearance with this energy and more concern about what other people think of you at this time with this energy this is a beautiful time for those of you in the beauty industry for some of you the focus on your children and they could be really happy with the the things that are going on in their life and really excited about that and for some of you you could be more of a participant in your children's life at this time um, with this energy so it's a beautiful time for that the four of cups i feel like this could be plans working out exactly as planned this could be a meditative time for you 
or a time of contemplation, rest and relaxation. Or, you know, this could be like your money situation getting really under control and you not having to really worry about your money situation and you're able to relax a little bit more. For some of you, this is something life transforming happening in your life. For others of you, there could be a pregnancy coming up here or this could be just new beginnings happening for you this month as well. The Knight of Cups, blessings onto the universe. Smooth changes are coming up for you. Career changes can be happening. For some of you, you can reconnect with people from your past with this energy. The Eight of Swords keeps coming up. Some of you, you could be overthinking certain situations or you're not done letting go of the past. For some of you, you know, we this has been a period of like endings last year so this could be you kind of like grieving and trying to move on from that with this energy as well or trying to move on from any negative situations that you have been through so this could be a healing time stay on the right side of the law during this time period as well so for some of you, you could be you know this could be like certain things catching up from to you so i would be careful with that this could be certain things catching up certain things that you are hiding you know pluto and aquarius with the law certain responsibilities so for example the green cards visas and stuff like that immigration that could be coming up during this time period as well so make sure that you got that squared away and checked um off with this energy or you may have to be dealing with your lawyers during this time period because that could be catching up with you the three of coins i see you happy on a financial level and an emotional level the ten of coins the Ten of Coins with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you can be taking on more responsibilities at this time. I feel also you prefer to work by yourself as well with this energy. The Eight of Wands talks of traveling coming up and good news coming in. Um, financial security or your finances are more of the focus this month as well. For others of you, in the words of the great disciple Oprah Winfrey, let your wounds be your wisdom. So there's a lot of growth and maturity coming up, a lot of wisdom. So this could be, again, Ninth House energy, taking care of certain responsibilities, time to grow up it's time to stop so for some of you here you may have lessons with the law okay pluto energy jail law and for some of you here it's going to be a situation here where it's like you may go to jail okay and you know and it's like now you're done dealing with constantly going to jail you know it may be like a lot of beautiful things are happening for you with career with career growth with money and then boom you're your past catches up with you, okay? And this is a time period here where you might put away those silly games with people and be like, you know what, I'm gonna grow up. After I get out of jail, I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna do do right and I'm not gonna do this crap anymore because it's it doesn't it doesn't accomplish anything. It doesn't get me anywhere, you know, and start taking your life seriously. I feel for others of you here, yeah, this is epiphanies. This is like self-realizations coming up at this time. This is words of wisdom. Spirit world could be talking to you at, at this time as well. Again, in the great this words in the great disciple Oprah Winfrey, let your wounds be your wisdom. So you really need to like pick and choose your battles this month because a lot of things are not worth it. <clears throat> so for some of you, you need to stay on the right side of the law. Okay. Um, because it's not worth it, you know. And you could have like a lot of lessons with the popo and the law at this time with this energy. Alrighty. The Ten of Cups, I feel for some of you here that this could be you being a perfectionist at this time and kind of like throwing yourself into career or whatever you're throwing yourself into, you take it very seriously, but you're not enjoying the process of the situation, okay? So you're very uptight about it. So for some of you, this can be traveling to a different country <clears throat> and wanting to move to this country. But at the same time, looking for a house might be difficult in that country. So you need to enjoy the process at this time. Enjoy the situation. Enjoy the formalities that are going on, the traditions, the customs. Enjoy the moment, okay? The process is what gets you there the process is the fun part all right make it fun the temperance card you're more about your sanity at this time with this energy i feel like you can be enjoying the simpler things in life at this time or just slowing down for some of you a lot more than usual especially those of you 50 and up you could be slowing down a lot more and just enjoying everything for others of you you could be more focused on your children during this time period i see a happy mother with this energy or you could be proud of your children i feel also a beautiful time for healing wounds i feel that for some of you here you're gonna 
go into a relationship and love conquers all, all. So this could be like sexual healing or this could be like um, a love relationship, a new love coming in. And this relationship is just going to be beautiful and it's just going to heal all wounds um, for you and if you've been grieving over a relationship you know be open to love because this person is really going to be what the doctor ordered okay just a beautiful love relationship right there for some of you this could be dealing with siblings as well and they could be more the focus too this is dealing with your insecurities your anxiousness your emotional hang-ups at this time with this energy as well so be careful with your anxieties during this time period the two of wands i feel as i connect with the two of wands i'm hearing brand new beginnings are coming up for you um during this time period this energy is moving so fast and it's so busy for you lots going on in your life at this time so save your money you know if you're trying to grow this is time to do it um, recognition success you're very cerebral and in your head about things with this energy as well I feel you could also be overthinking situations so don't do that try to go with the flow okay a great time for online businesses with this energy again you could be receiving some success with that during this time period or a lot of success with that because we have a stellum in the 11th house so this is a beautiful time for um, dealing with that energy okay the two of swords i feel like you can be very cerebral and in your head again like i discussed and you could be more quiet during this time period you could be more focused on family something you've been wanting for a very long time is coming to fruition in your life okay the seven of coins um, something heavy on your mind with this energy, but you may not be so quick to make decisions. Instead, you want to mull it through with all these wand cards. The world card, you can be receiving some much needed good news. You can be man manifesting this situation into your life as well. The four of coins, I feel like you're just very cautious at this time and you just want to make sure you make the right decision. I do see recognition and success coming up for you as well. And the magician card, you're not making a decision as a way to manipulate a situation or you're manifesting a situation into your life this month as well i love you my gems share your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing and thank you for everyone who has kisses